What is up guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paint Pond. Today we are talking the brand new Sector Pro Harness. And why? Because the best source for harnesses. That's LomoPaintball.com. So we're going to jump right on into this one. A little introduction here with the Sector Pro Harness. Uh, as far as I know, developed and tested by some of the Tampa Bay Damage guys. Definitely Jason Edwards is fully involved into this project. So there are a ton of pod packs out there on the market, as we all know, different styles, different sizes, small, big, you name it. But today, I think Sector did a really, really good job with this one. There's definitely one feature that I know no other pod pack on the market has. So let's dive into, I have it here, right here. You already see some of the key features which is interesting, but you haven't seen the best yet. Let's dive into the packaging that it comes in. Nice little carrying case, fully ventilated all the way around, Mark. So once I get it out, I'll show you. So obviously after a long day of play, it's gonna be probably full of paint. It's gonna be stinky and sweaty. And if you throw it back into the carrying case, it's gonna help it breathe. So I like that it's coming with a little extra there on top. So obviously all the vent, uh, the mesh ventilation is gonna help that bad boy breathe. I don't like what you're assuming. I don't get shot when I play, so my pod pack <laughs> is sparkling clean when I'm well, done. Well, then you must be the, the pros of the pros, Mark. So let's kind of look at what we got going on here. The packaging, just your standard plastic. And then it comes nice professional, even for the retail stuff. If you guys wanna hang it up in your store, it's got the nice cardboard on there. And uh, overall, it's a really, really nice harness. So let's move on to the one I already kind of have assembled here. And I even put the big boy pods in this one just to show you that the bigger pods will fit. These are, I think they're the 165s by virtue. So they fit even the bigger pods. Obviously it has the elastic uh, straps up top. So when you go to pull a pod out, it helps do the ejection system here from the up top. But you will notice that these bad boys are numbered. So obviously in, in X-Ball, you're in the pits, you run on in real quick and need paint because uh, there's not too much time on the clock per se. So these are all your basics are numbered. This pod pack is a four plus seven. So you're gonna be holding 11 pods total. On the outside, one of my favorite features, not my most favorite though, uh, L1, you got L2, and then you've got your standard, you know, one, two, three, four. And then you've got your individual pods that would go in between each main. And then over here, R1 and R2. So back to running back into the pits. I'm a dominant right-handed shooter. So I'm normally, with this pod packs on my back, I'm normally gonna be holding the gun in my right hand and reaching back to reload to fill. So if I ran into the pits, I was low on time, I'd be running in to tell, hey, fill my L1 and L2, cause those are my most pulled pods, my most dominant, other than your main ones, obviously. So like I said, depending right-handed or left-handed, it definitely helps running in. Hey, fill my R1 or R2 or you know, vice versa, depending on what, what hand you mostly use while shooting out there on the field. So uh, obviously you can see all the elastic straps. Like I said, when you help, you know, when you pull the pot out, it helps eject it into your hand for quicker reloading. Let's get onto the inside. <clears throat> it does have your classic four strap operation. Two, and then you've got your third over here, and then your fourth. In the back though, very, very nice. Once again, mesh ventilated for the breathing. So it doesn't trap too much moisture, helps air get in there. So you're not just a sopping wet pod pack, has it here and in the center, fully padded pillow. So I do like that. That's gonna give you some lumbar support there. So this is a nice padded pillow right in the center of the pack. We're gonna get on to my favorite part of the Sector Pro Harness right now. Like I said, I think it's the only one on the market that has, it's got a little sneaky cover there. And on the inside, you know what, I'm gonna pull this pot out, Mark, so you can see, you will notice there's a zipper right here. Little little zipper pocket, hmm. So we're gonna pull that bad boy and open. We've seen pod packs with pockets. Ah, but you haven't seen the rain and sun shield, have you? I, whoa. Yep, so you're gonna pull that sucker right on out. Uh, if it's pouring rain and you're out there, obviously at practice, paintball players are playing rain, sun, snow, whatever, sleet. So it's got a, 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 you know, protect you from the rain. It's gonna protect you from the sun beating down on the paint, help keep it cool. So I think that's a really, really neat feature. And it all just, you know, ravels right back up and hides in that little sneaky zipper pocket there. So I think, like I said, I, it's the only one on the market that currently offers that it's a really, really cool feature. Obviously before the point begins, or like I said, if you're stuck out there in a long day of practice and it's pouring rain, 
you're definitely going to want to utilize that. And for an $89, $95 pack, you're talking 90 bucks. Uh, I think it's a, it's a really, really good choice out there. Once again, developed and used by pro players. Shout out to Tampa Bay Damage winning the last event in, in the uh, Pro NXL. So once again, this is the Sector Pro Harness. And Mark, do you have any questions or concerns about the pack? What do you think? Uh, I was curious, does it have any of like, the sticky grip to keep it from sliding when you're wearing it on the belt or the back? Um, on the inside, it doesn't. That's not, none of it's really, like, it's not that tacky stuff like some of the other pod packs have. Okay. But uh, no, I don't think it has that. I don't think, I mean, on the back though, this padded pillow, that has got that kind of anti-slip um, material where the pillow is, so. All right. Uh, What's your, what is your most favorite feature about this, Mark, before we close this bad boy out? I actually, as much as it's silly as it sounds, I like the numbered pod holders because yeah. when I play just by, you know, I'm left-handed. So when I reach back, I, like the number two pod on there is probably the one that I can't reach the most. Correct. So in a, in a rush event, like I would just tell people, don't even fill that one. Just leave it because I can't get to it anyway. Fill the R1s and R2s instead. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, because I'm just a little derpy guy with short arms. Like, <laughs> like I said, I think obviously uh, Edwards and those guys that did kind of uh, some player feedback on this realize like it is important in those rushed moments to, hey, I don't utilize those ones much anyways. Only, like you just said, focus on filling, you know, R1 or number two or whatever it may be. So fully numbered. I like the rain shield. I like that rain guard a lot. And uh, check them out, guys. It's the best source. That is LoneWolfPaintball.com. See ya.